Hi, welcome. This is AK Option Trader, and this is a uh, a series of videos I'm going to be doing on how I read charts. Uh, if you read my intro on this new blog, Chart Style, and it's at Blogspot. Chart Style is uh, basically a, it's a blog on just how to read charts or how I read charts. Um, everybody does it a little bit different. I'm going to talk to you about the way I do it. Um, and you can take it, leave it, or maybe there's things you know that I don't know, or maybe you can take and tweak some things. It, it's for anybody. I'm going to start it out geared towards beginners, and as we get farther into the video series, I'll get into more complex things, okay? So anyway, that's what this is about. Um, that's what this whole blog is going to be about. I'm not going to do a lot of trades or plays on this blog. All that will be at my main blog at, at the AK Option Trader. Chart style is going to be just reading charts and technical analysis, pretty much it, okay? So <laughs> let's jump in. This is the Dow. Um, uh, let's start off with uh, where I get my charts. This is a profit chart. So I, I, I use Thinkorswim as a trading platform. I use Options Express as a trading platform. I use TD Ameritrade as. I have three different brokerage accounts and I use them in three different styles. I'm not going to get into that now, but they're each for different purposes. Um, I, I prefer the charts here, uh, these profit charts. Over the other ones, I do use my TD Ameritrade charts quite a bit. Um, they're really, really good for intraday trading for me. I have not found a chart uh, platform that does everything I like to do in one. It gives me all the flexibility I like in one. So I, I've tried several. And Q charts was probably the best, but it's uh, it was 140, 150 bucks a month, and it was kind of one of those things where, yeah, I, I can afford 140, 150 bucks a month, it's no problem, but why should I pay for it when I get these ones for free since I have an account with them <clears throat> and I pretty much get everything that I want between the two of them so um, one of my key things is being able to see the futures and this is profit gives me that so um, it's working out and that's what I do so there's lots of free charts on the web you just type in stock charts you'll find them at charts.com stockcharts.com um, money market I mean there's tons of them out there so anyway so this is on profit off of thinkorswim let's start with this this is these are what they call a bar chart. Okay, this is a bar chart. These are bar candles or bars. Um, the way they work is the bottom hash is the open, the top hash is the close, and then anything above or below those, this is the high and this is the low. So the left hash is the open, it's receiving it from the day before. The right the right side is the close, it's sending it off to the next day. Then you got your high and your low. So here's your low, here's your high. Okay? That's all it is. These are bar charts. So that's all you see. <clears throat> so for instance, look at this candle here. Our open was here, and then we either went up or we went down and rallied. We don't know. We'd have to get in closer. But we know that the low was way down here and the high was only up here. We know that we closed within a real tight range. So we either had a rally or a sell off. We don't know. Here, same thing. Here's the open. Look at this one opened right where it closed the day before. Rallied, closed, next day it opened. Right, so there's no gap, no movement. Okay, no gap up or anything like that. Opened, sometime it went down. Could have been right after the open and rallied all day. We don't know. That's all it tells you. All right. So these are bar charts. I have used them in the past. I don't use them very much. It's very simple. So the left side is the open. The right side is the close. So if the right thing is above this, then it obviously closed higher. This one closed lower. Okay? And then anything left over is a wix. Okay? Now what I use is candles. I get a lot more information out of a candle. I can look at it and snap. I know exactly what's going on. Candles, same. Here's the way the candles work. Okay? You got an open is a bottom line or top line and the close is a bottom line or top line. Well, how do you know if it's an open or a close? Which one's open? By the color of the candle. All right, so let's look at this candle here. This candle is a black candle. So that means it closed lower than the open. So we know this top line here was the open. This bottom line was the close. Okay, the next candle is a white candle. So we know it was an up day. It closed higher than it opened. That means it opened at this line and it closed at this line. All right? So it opened at this line and closed at this line. That's all there is to it. Now, a day like this, let's say, let's take one right here. This is what they call a spinning top or almost a spinning top. It's probably a bigger body. So we know it opened here because it's a white candle and it closed here. We see what they call a wick or shadow and a tail. 
our shadow, our wick, okay? I call them tails, wicks, shadows, but these are areas of highs and lows. And you can see, looking at this here, what they would call doji, um, or right here is a real good one, but you, what you would call a, real, a low, a high, and a, not much room in between. The actual open and close was very close to each other, but there was a lot of movement that day, a lot of insurity, okay? So this up move kind of stalled out here, boom, before taking back off with this here, all right? So that's the basics of candles. I'm not going to go in. We're going to go into more in next episode, but that's the real basics on what you see, and you're going to see varieties of candles. They all mean something, but candles must be taken into context, okay, as to where they are in the move, and there's a whole bunch more stuff with that. The things you need to know is looking at the wicks and the tails are very important, or the shadows are very important. That's part of a... Uh, of, uh, using candlesticks to trade with all right now they're going to be taken in context with a bigger move okay with with patterns and stuff we're going to learn later but just looking at this chart right here i mean look at this day here you see a huge candle with what we call a shaved top because there's no wick and a bottom where it probably what this did is open went all the way down hit here and then rallied and closed right there all right that would be normal so there's a lot to use with them so that's your basic candle reading. We're going to go into different types of candles next. Um, so next episode is going to be defining different candles and pointing out different candles for you and uh, showing you kind of what they mean in the context of the move. I hope this helped those of you who are just starting out. If you have any questions, please feel free to comment. This will be the AK Option Trader signing out. <laughs>